Exynos 8895 Galaxy S8 Its Geekbench, outscores Snapdragon 835 version. Samsung has a good track record of offering its flagship handsets with Qualcomm and its own Exynos chipsets depending on market. Although Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus leaks so far have mostly focused on the Snapdragon 835 variant, the existence of an Exynos alternative is pretty much considered a given at this point. The chip in question should be the Exynos 8895 and although we do have its hardware specs laid out in detail, performance markers have been a bit scarce. Today we finally get an early taste of benchmark results thanks to Geekbench. The listing apparently comes from an SMG 955F handset, which an educated guess would identify as the S8 Plus and the numbers are pretty impressive. Last we got a glimpse of the Snapdragon 835, performing in the S8 Plus, it managed to get 1929 points in single-threaded tests and 6084 under multi-core loads. With 1978 and 6375 points, respectively, the Exynos 8895 just manages to outscore its 10 nanometers Snapdragon rival. It even dwarfs the Huawei Karen 960 inches both categories. It is worth noting that these results are preliminary so things might change by the time the second 8 hits the market. Also, according to a previous leak, the Exynos 8895 have flavors. The top tier one will have its 4 M2 performance cores running at 2.5 GHz and have two extra GPU cores and a higher clock rate on the Mali G71 and we assume Samsung will equip the S8 and S8 Plus with that. However, since Geekbench seems to be detecting the clock when 0.7 GHz clock speed of the Cortex-A53 cluster, which is identical in both the 8895M and 8895V, we can't really say which one these benchmark scores come from. If it turns out to be the V, the new Exynos could possibly be capable of churning out even more number crunching power. On a side note, Geekbench does seem to report 4 GB of RAM on the unit, which, going by the F notation, should be the international one. This falls in line pretty well with another Galaxy S8 scoop from today. Namely that the 6GB version will be a China exclusive. In any case, we should know for sure shortly after the March 29th unveiling.